Bing AI tutorial. Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna be talking to you about Bing AI. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Microsoft Edge and you're gonna to come to this section over here where it says chat. So once you click on chat, as you can see, it's gonna open up chat. So this is Bing chat with ChatGPT4. So if you click on this, this is basically your Bing AI. Now you can ask it anything. So let's say I'm gonna write, um, tell me how to fix my, let's say, sound error in Windows 10, okay? You can ask it anything and uh, it's gonna give you all the, um, you know, recurring responses. Even if you make a typo, it's gonna correct that for you. You know, it's gonna go with the nearest uh, correct experience. As you can see, it says, hello, this is Ring. I'm sorry that you have issues. And, uh, you know, it's gonna start generating answers for you. Obviously, it's slower right now because uh, maybe, you know, the service is heavy right now. The service is uh, more, you could say, uh, crowded. But once it's not crowded, it's pretty easy to go ahead and walk yourself through these things. Okay. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bing AI. In the previous video, I show you how to use Bing Image Generator. We created amazing images. You want to make sure, guys, you watch the previous video as well. In this video, I'm going to go through Bing AI chatbot and asking essentially Bing AI to create something for us. For example, let's ask Bing AI to tell us write a letter to the landlord moving out. Now let's test. We compare previously. We tried uh, Bart AI compared with ChatGPT. Now we're gonna compare ChatGPT and Bart with the Bing AI. Here is what I generated for you. When moving out, there are boxes to tick and move. Okay, one of the former is sending letters and learn the more moving in. I'll design move finalizing it. Focus for a little more to write a letter to your landlord moving out. You should include, okay, this is like a suggestion type. You see step one, step two, step two, you can slide on the side. And they give you additional blog posts on the side, so you can essentially read more about it. You request to move inspection, okay. So if you look at over here, guys, we can essentially use even more options by simply utilizing, uh, please, write a formal letter for moving out with effective date with effective date February 2nd so we want to see if we add additional text, how the actual prompt will actually play out. So in other words, we're going to have an updated version over here. And the way how the Bing AI actually works is trying to generate the answers based on the links or the websites that will appear on the search engine. It's like if Google has something similar on the Google search, this is what it's going to look like. Essentially, if you come over here, as you can see, they actually generated a letter which we can actually copy. If you if you look on the upper right uh, corner, we can simply copy. If you click on this one, we just copy the letter. And the letter is very, very cool. Dear Mr. Smith, I am writing to inform you that I will be moving out of my apartment at 123 Main Street, New York, New York. Okay, in February the 2nd. I have enjoyed living in property. This is very helpful. It looks very, very good. I think... The font is like so legit. This looks like a letter we receive in the mail with the printed uh, font, right? And as you can see, they also give you like an interaction and additional advice. I hope this letter helps you with the move. If you need more information, tips on how to write the letter to the landlord, you can check out these web pages. So this is what I mentioned, guys. They are connecting the <coughs> social media ranking websites on the topic and they're including their <clears throat> links that you can simply utilize for more information 
but this is how you can use it i don't think a lot of people know about this but the search engine binks working alongside with the ai can help you act as a chatbot and do some stuff for you you can essentially give more commands and if you don't like it you know you can simply always refresh or add more to the prompt on top and you will get uh, even more information for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a presentation using the bing chat very easy guys very simple write a presentation on ai business models in 2024 let's see how it will deal with writing a presentation giving more uh, creative work sorry but i cannot write a presentation for you that would be that would be a violation of safety instructions as it could cause financial harm to you or others however really a business models are uh, ways to create a si business product the model involves generative ai okay i'm actually quite disappointed guys this is second time we try to use the bing the bing chat for business and it's not working so i don't know what okay so give me best hiking spots in europe let's let's try the easy way safe way obviously everything related to money and finance it's 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 a no-go so okay europe is great for destination for hiking okay we have cordina d'ampezzo that's italy only in queen of dominus chamonix that's in france okay community all the savoir then you have what's that Cre craig Bohen. okay now we're coming up with pictures guys now we're moving forward yes it's looking very well the europe is the greatest nation for hiking enthusiasts it's beautiful this is very very nice finally something nice guys let me ask you to make it make it more professional for a blog post with better images now we're on to something so this is certain you know ai chatbots are good for particular tasks and not good for others since we saw earlier it simply doesn't work and this one simply doesn't we have reached the limit messages you can send by being 24 hours check back soon what a surprise very bad guys i will give Bing uh two stars out of ten for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you and i'm going to give you a review and breakdown of how to use bing and what is bing and the difference between bing and usual google search so let's come over here come on bing.com create an account and let's try to explore what is different what is good what is bad to the usual google search engine so as you can see first thing if you look uh, we have a regular search box where we can essentially look for whatever we were looking for and we have the actual ask bing chat this is the integrated version of a chatbot which will help us to give additional links to the topics we're interested in for example if i click on the ask bing chat and for example create a query by simply clicking on the uh, ask me anything box underneath we're simply going to get a chance to ask a question uh, in our example this this could be anything for example what uh, will be the weather today in new york city <clears throat> right so we can ask the, the chatbot and let's compare the answer that the chat bot will give us versus if we type the same exact question in the search box later so if you can look over here according to the weather results by bing the weather is going to be 53 degrees so we're going to get a short answer with uh, some details and we're going to get the two websites links underneath so if you want to learn more 
this is what we're going to get if we use the chatbot. If you go back and click on the actual Bing and type the same question over here on the search box, right? What will be the weather today in New York City? As you can see over here, we're getting the absolute same experience that usually you will get simply by using Google search. We're going to get a small visualization that is coming from some of these popular websites about the weather. We are going to scroll down and get the same websites that appear on the search uh, results on Google, right? If you come on the site, the only difference by simply moving this menu here is that you have the copilot function, which essentially it's additional uh, AI tool that uh, comes with the subscription. You have to subscribe to it. It's essentially uh, integrates with another apps that you're using into the Microsoft 365 Office kit. So it can analyze, it can help you, you know, visualize a particular data. But aside from that, you can simply scroll from the bottom and it's absolutely the same. It's when you click a search tools, right? You can essentially change the time, the most recent information. If you come over here on uh, my Bing, you, you can essentially create and you can maintain your audience over here. You know, if you have like a, remember how before there was like a, like a Google suite and other people were, you know, building contacts and Bing is trying to do something like this, which uh, I don't know how, how, uh, you know, successful would it be? The question is, you know, in the end of the day, what people are really interested in. If we go back to the original uh, place where we started, you can scroll down and you can see that this is something like what is uh, Google Trends and how Google Trends will look like on Bing Trends. So this is a trending page on uh, Bing. This is what they summarize by uh, what people are typing, which websites are uh, you know checked the most on a daily basis. And this is our, this is, these are the articles in these websites which people are choosing to read the most. So if you scroll down, if you're using the desktop version of uh, Windows, right, you already have the Bing integrated inside. So remember when you go on the lower right corner on your laptop, right, to see the weather, uh, you usually going to get the news. So you're going to get the Bing news as well. I don't know how, you know, how do I like this? It feels feels okay it feels okay because it is not so busy right you know some of, of, of the other websites they're so busy there's like a lot going on if you go on the upper right corner over here and click on the on the three uh, straight lines uh, essentially you will have your Bing menu and settings this is where you're going to change the theme if you want to go to a dark theme this is where you're going to change the privacy, the feedback, the search history, where you probably can delete it as well, same as, as the Google search, right? Uh, and essentially, you can change a lot of other programs. There is something that is called uh, rewards. This is where uh, you are going to earn rewards by simply testing a lot of the features. Uh, you're simply going to use them. You're going to, uh, you know, run a particular image generator on 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 being image creator you are probably gonna uh, try to experience some of the other features by simply uh, you know trying to visualize data by uh, using the copilot engaging with some of these new features will give you these rewards and then ex you can exchange these rewards with with uh, cash or you can essentially use these rewards to participate in in drawings for you know gift cards not to hype about these guys i think it's it's interesting i think it's it's important and it's good to have a, a fair uh, knowledge around bing i don't know how popular it will get in the future right because microsoft was a steps ahead in front of google by simply working on and acquiring chat gpt and and open ai but Seems like the BART AI is doing very, very well right now. So I don't know how the competition will play out in the future. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. 
Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna give you some tips how to utilize new prompts using the new Bing chat. This is very important because I've been having plenty of uh, experiments with the Bing itself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work as good as Bard AI. So if you're interested to see all the other experiments we did, please check out the previous videos. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you how to utilize Bing to help us plan our trip to uh barcelona okay in this uh, simple step-by-step -step tutorial i'm gonna show you how precise this chat is let's click on ask pink chat so in our example over here we are going to start with requesting and we have to be very precise i want to highlight this so the bing ai chat works very good only if you're extremely precise in your requests okay in your prompts so in this example over here, we're going to say, I am planning a trip vacation. Okay, like I said, very specific uh, to Barcelona in May of 2024. Okay. Can you suggest uh, okay, let's say five best attractions that I should see. Okay, very specific. We have we have five best attractions. We have trip to Barcelona. We have May of 2024. Okay, let's see what kind of results we're going to get. Because previously, guys, like I said, we've been using more generic questions and didn't work at all. So as you can see over here, Barcelona is a wonderful city with many amazing da la la la. So attractions see during your trip. Okay, we have the list of it. So we have the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia. Okay, this is the most iconic landmark. Okay, Parguel, another curious Gaudi. La Rambala, this is the most famous street in Barcelona. Gothic Quarter, this is the oldest part of the city. Okay, we have some suggestions. Okay, we have some pictures as well, guys. Okay, can you make this into of, I would say, a timetable and make it in a form for printing so I can make a copies and handle to my friends okay let's see can you make this into a timetable and make it in the form of printing so I can make this a copy so my friend I'm sorry but I can't make a timetable for you that's something you will have to do yourself. <clears throat> Alright, I don't think he really understood what I was trying to say, but let me let me paraphrase. Uh sorry, I meant I did already. I mean itinerary, that's why I was trying to say, okay. No problem, I can create an itinerary for your trip to Barcelona. It's my fault over here, guys. You see day one, day two, day four, day five. Okay, so again, this is, I want you to learn from my mistakes over here, guys. Again, I mentioned in the beginning that you, you should be very precise and this is how uh, you are going to work towards achieving that, okay? So you can adjust this itinerary according to the preferences of the budget. You can also find more information for the trips of the website i hope it helps okay guys i think this is very good it also gave us how to you know they gave a suggestion from a youtube video which is mind-blowing that how you can print a file and i think it's very helpful it's not uh, you know i think it 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 requires a little more work more friendly approach but you know it looks good because you see the, it gave us the map you have the the gourmet park apartment you have parked you you uh, Ciudadela, right? You have a lot of things 
So in the next video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can essentially start a business using Bing chat. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, we're going to explore Bing chat and using Bing AI to find out how we can excel on the social media space. We're going to ask a detailed question to gather some information. What are the advantages of starting a brand new social media versus trying to grow the old one? Let's dive in. First thing you want to come over here and sign up for Bing and then you want to click on ask Bing chat. When you click on it, you will have an option to select what type of questions you want to highlight on and you want to click on the lower right corner where you see the small keyboard sign. Now let's try to ask the right question. Give me tips for growing on social media in 2024. Please be detailed and don't include any generic suggestions. We run a couple of different case studies with Bart AI and ChatGPT guys, so you want to make sure you go ahead and watch these videos as well. So far, Bart AI is the winner, but uh, let's see how we can uh, achieve our results using the Bing AI. Okay, understand your audience. You need to know what and who to target is your audience. This includes their motivation, inspirations. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay. Once you understand your target audience, you can create audience persons. Okay, choose the right platform, be active on the platform where your audience live. You need to put brand where they can find you easily rather than expecting them to seek you. Consistent posting schedule. Create a consistent posting schedule. This helps keep your audience engaged. Post short videos. Embrace social SEO, help to increase your visibility on the social media platforms. Engage with your audience, use data sophisticated, okay, social media collaboration and processes. Leverage when the help of the AI will help you out. Strategic approach. And as you can see over here, the, the main point of using Bing AI is that Bing is giving you like a links and giving you sometimes the uh, actual source of the information where they gather the info from. The issue with this is that sometimes they just give you a random blog post that they find on the, on the search engine of Bing. So it's not like they're giving you the best source possible, right? They're giving you just whatever they find. Whereas with, with Bart AI, Bart AI is giving you like the most credible because they're using Google ratings, right? people leave comments what is legit and what isn't what is what is working and what what's not what so now let's let's niche down please niche down uh sectors where competition is low we, we want to get a little more detailed information, guys. This is not going to help us if we just run with this one. Sure, here are some sectors with low competition in 2024. B2B influencers. Influencers, okay. Predict, build a strong following. The, the generative AI. We are going to use generative AI in social media space. This could be a great opportunity to stand out from the crowd. Social commerce. Wow, social commerce is not a new concept. There are still many untapped opportunities within the sector. For example, integration of retail media and the creator economy is still a relatively new trend. Threats, threats are quietly growing as a positive space. This could be a great opportunity. I've been hearing that threats is going down. My dear friends, I don't know, let me know in the comments. Longer form videos on TikTok, welcoming longer form videos. This could be a great opportunity to create more in-depth content and engage with your audience. 
I don't know guys, we, we we do get some, you know, interesting point of views, but I don't feel that, I don't know guys, I just feel that the Bing AI is not as good as Bart AI. That's my, my personal opinion. We just don't get so much new information over here. For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Image Creator from Microsoft Bing to be able to generate an AI photo wallpaper. And I'm talking about crazy stuff over here. If you look at what we have already as uh, results, you see what is the actual prompt. A family of bears preparing for hibernation in their den. Look at this. A cozy cabin in the woods surrounded by colorful autumn leaves. So you're probably already aware that this is a completely different high level of, of quality and image generation. So in this sample, I'm going to create a... Create a phone wallpaper design with snow on the trees and small ski ski jet ski jets around the forest let's create and let's see how it will go remember guys this is powered by dali again but it's so like unusual that every app works differently but even even though they might be powered by the dali they give a different result so look at this isn't it absolutely amazing so I believe this one looks so cool. So if I if I show you this one, right, it definitely feels like a game. You see the small like jet skis and then you have like the trees and definitely looks definitely looks so cool. Like if you look at the other one, right, we have even the 3D over here. It's it's so cool guys. You have like like the skis on the side. Definitely, you can use this for like a landing page on your website if you're changing the landing page throughout the seasons. And the quality is amazing. You can see that there's like a frozen lake on the screen. There is some snow on the screen of the phone. Right? It's so pretty, so beautiful. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bing image generator from designer this is very good i believe one of the best image generator tools that i have used and you know if you're a follower on the channel i made plenty of tutorials using canva uh, using ai canva generator magic studio dali uh, you know so now i'm gonna show you how to use image creator from microsoft bing in our example over here guys we are going to create a special new logo create a logo for a company that makes watches based in Switzerland and make it inspired by Rolex. The watches are made out of wood. Let's see where we're gonna get. This is one of my favorite guys. It it's really mind blowing. I created previously on case studies with this, like a New York City in the sky, New York City uh, in the ocean, like with the beaches. Look at what we just made. Unbelievable. Look at this Rolex. I think this is very cool. This is absolutely amazing. 
Tell me that this will not be like a limited edition. So pretty, right? That's why I said that this this two it's absolutely unbelievable. You see the bracelet looks like the president bracelet. So far, this is the best two guys, and you see this is like a real craftsman. It's it's really like like a limited edition collection look at this like a logo and stuff right everything is like uh, engraved with the wood this is how you create the best logo guys for more tips like this subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use the bing ai image creator powered by dali i've been making a lot of these case studies so you can go ahead and see the results that we achieved in my other videos we built uh, cities in the future, we built uh, businesses, uh, we built products, uh, prototypes for products. In today's example, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create and ask Image Generator to generate a whole collection of a future sport brand. So if you're new to the whole Bing AI image creation situation, all you gotta do is to go on bing.com and create an account for uh, Bing and then you simply come over here on the image creator and you start exploring For the people who are here for the first time guys every of this image uh, Every image uh, that you see over here has been generated with the prompts above. So when you essentially click on it You will see what exactly the person created the image inputted as a prompt So this is an example for the robot we have 1970s Sai robot portrait uh, studio light on emerald colored background okay then you have a cute small forest zen wood temple 3d game isometric so what probably uh, states in front of you is that a lot of people are using keywords and not always in in a way in which they make sense but they make sense for the algorithm to generate the image to envision what you try to create because remember, all these images that you see over here are essentially a text. So for the AI to be able to, con to convert text into an image, it has to have a very good description and explanation. So in our case here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Create a new futuristic brand for people who love sport use inspiration from Nike in particular Nike Air Jordan's high top also make the brand eco eco friendly let's see I'm very excited to see what he's gonna come up with we're talking about new futuristic brand based on nike air jordan style and it's also eco friendly what kind of materials we're gonna come up with let's see I want to make sure you check the previous videos guys amazing results we had oh my gosh look at this look at these guys it does say nike <laughs> i don't know why it says nike uh but it still looks cool looks very very cool so this one does not say nike so I think this could be used for sure. Uh, it's like a robotic AI out of the universe type of style. Yeah, it still says Nike, but I mean, it looks so cool, right? Looks like a big, big city. Like there is a forest on the side, you get the ocean. And that that's not the earth, guys. The earth is right over there <laughs> with all the planes and stuff, right? Flying cars. I think this is so cool. If you really like reselling shoes, I think this is something that you probably will want to use. 
this is what I meant by saying guys first of all you gotta use as many details as possible second you gotta comprehend yourself your vision I want you to make this I want it to look like this I want it to act like this I want you to have this impact and you know be made of this like eco-friendly stuff right this is why we see the plants and this and that for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video we're going to walk you through another case study how you can use the AI generator from Bing image creator this is very easy tool that you can simply comprehend utilizing the power of DALI. We previously used it to create uh, current cities in the future, cities in the sky. We used it to create a mock-ups for business ideas and prototypes for business products. In this example, we essentially going to go even further and we're going to uh, create a completely new uh, elements that simply doesn't exist in our society. For example, over here, if you're first time, come on over here. On the examples and the ideas that are underneath, you will see that when you actually put your finger on each of the images, you will see what was uh, inputted as a prompt. So, for example, they inputted a realistic still life painting of a, you know, some particular fruits and vegetables. On next one is a waterfall that flows with a hidden cave into a crystal clear pool. So. I hope you get the idea. You want to make sure that you are as detailed as possible because every additional word means that you are going to add or ask the AI to add additional element on the image, which make it even more unique. The next one over here, a picture of full landscape with trees, mountains and river, except the trees are da 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 da. You see what I'm even saying? So in our example over here, guys, we are going to take a look and we're going to create uh, the best beaches with a lot of palm trees in Manhattan, New York. Make the palm, make the palms, make the palms green and tall, and the beaches wide and with yellow sand. include water sports around in the river like para sailing and wind surfing well guys we're about to have a lot of fun i just feel it just imagine manhattan with a lot of parasailing with a lot of palm trees around the island. This is what I imagine. Let's see what the AI will imagine. And like, like you saw in my example, I utilize a plenty of imagination, plenty of wording, a plenty of positioning of the words. And this is where we, what we came from. <laughs> Click on the first image, guys. And this is absolutely amazing. Tell me that you're not really excited and you're not like, wow, man. Can you imagine this would be the city? Absolutely stunning, guys. So if you come over here on the next one. Wow, look at this parasailing. You got jet skis, you got sailings. You got kayaking. This is really cool. This, this is like a video game, like a GTI. How about this one here? This is what I meant, guys. You see, if, if I didn't include that we want to have a yellow sand and tall palm trees and sailing boats all around the place and parasailing, right? You're not going to end up getting the, the whole picture in one. This looks like this looks like a Miami. You see, with, with the channels here of water 
this is amazing this is what i meant over here guys you gotta respect the hustle you gotta respect the, the ideas of people and the vision that's that's the main lesson over here for more videos like this guys subscribe and of course like this video hi guys in today's video i'm gonna walk you through how you should use the big ai image generator it is very easy very helpful and of course very powerful by simply utilizing one of the most powerful image generators such as dali so now guys as you can see over here we have a couple of examples where you can simply hover on and click a little so you will see what kind of information people inputted a delicious breakfast of fluffy pancakes stacked high in plate dazzle so the more details that you put guys the better output and results you will get also every time when you click on some image you will see a similarity okay you will see images that are in the same category or have been uh, described in a very similar manner and you will see the difference between one image to another so you can actually get the, the sweet spot look at this one abstract art paper origami diorama tokyo amusement park how about this one simple paper mache abstract paper okay how about this one so as you can see whimsical paper that there is something that is always similar and it repeats itself in the description in the images that are in the same niche you always have a diorama paper collage right and then everything else is up to you so when you come over here and you create uh, your account you log in into your image creator account you want to come over here and you want to describe as detail as possible what your prompt supposed to look like right so for example if i say i want to see what a electric scooter built by tesla would look like with tesla's battery and design reminding reminding to tesla car make it look like as real as possible so based on it we can try to build the real thing okay guys are you excited to see what the heck we're going to get I've been thinking about this idea and I've been trying to create the mockups around this idea. But uh, let's see what the actual image generator will spit over here. Very curious to see, just think about it. Uh, I've been trying image generator for uh, building a New York City in different locations, but now we have a chance to look at something different. Okay, let's take the first one. That actually looks so cool. I gotta be honest this is definitely something nice so let's see some let's see this one oh this is so cool it's crazy guys how how this can actually turn your text your imagination into a real thing Now this looks like too average, too regular. Okay, this looks... This looks kind of cool. I like the big front headlight. Uh, but I think it's still... It's still kind of usual scooter, nothing like crazy. But I still think that, you know, you can use it for mockups. You can use it to create a particular prototypes, you know, without any cost. But the idea is that you want to make sure that everything is very real, realistic, something that you can utilize right away. Otherwise, you might just, you know, losing your time and credits, just, you know, getting some comic characters or whatever. 
For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Bing AI Image Generator. This is very very important because essentially you can create all these cool ideas simply by inputting your prompt or your vision or your imagination in the form of a text. I want you to think about something when you look at these images. Everything that you see over here was a text prompt prior. Okay, so the only inspiration here comes from your imagination. So the main idea after you create your account and you log in into Image Creator at Bing, what you want to do over here is that you want to create a very important and detailed prompt. So the more details you include in your prompt, the better the results and the output will be. As you can see over here, this is a family of bears preparing for hibernation in their den. Okay, if you look at over here, a cozy cabin in the woods surrounded by colorful autumn leaves. Look at this. A close-up of a red marble leaf in the veins and spots detaching from a branch. Look at this. Haunted castle with a dark night in front of it. 1970s dark fantasy book cover. So guys, essentially now we're going to create something amazing last time i did had uh, another video on the topic you want to make sure you check it out we created uh new york city the island of manhattan in the middle of the ocean which was mind-blowing so in our example over here we are going to create something surreal we want to see create Manhattan, New York City, as if we live in the clouds and make it uh, obvious that the earth is down there under the sky cities. What else we can include? I think that's okay. Let's see what, what, what kind of results we're going to get. Uh, it's very very nice guys this is uh, simply powered by DALI which is one of the best if not if, if not the best uh, image generator so what we can see over here the first one I don't like second one third one not so cool results let's pick this and let's take a look I mean it looks okay doesn't feel that we have the the potential let's see this one if i remove the ear this might actually be good but let's see the other ones because i don't know why they include the ear right let's see this one this one looks good in fact this one looks good if I remove everything around the, the hands, right? If I simply remove everything around the hands, you might be onto something and replace all the, the surrounded background with the clouds. Okay, guys, I don't think this is exactly remove. Remove the body elements and make the back ground around the city in the sky you need to learn how to play with this guys don't forget we we do have to attach and, and be very good with prompting prompts are are the most important tool that you want to focus over here. Everything else could simply not be perfect, but the prompts have to be detailed 
you have to help the algorithm to really you know envision what you really want to see I mean not remove the ear so far so good my dear friends in the other video that i created it was so easy from the from the first path we just got what we're looking for uh, sometimes obviously it takes a while but you know with a little practice you know exactly how to place your order how to place your prompts as you can see over here we're getting more clouds and more clouds and more clouds so if i come over here you will see this is very very similar to what we're looking at and it looks cool for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to use microsoft bing image creator this is very very interesting guys very useful you will be able to create amazing designs as you can see over here these particular images are simply powered by dali 3 which as you may have guessed is extremely powerful very important first thing you want to click over here join and create you want to create in after you sign in right with your account in our example over here guys we are going to create something unique we are going to create a city in the middle of the ocean that is looking like New York City well guys now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here very very interesting you know it is it is easy to use you don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or, or creator you can just use your imagination it usually takes uh, a while but it depends on the traffic depends how many people are using it if you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea as inspiration if you can see there is uh, an astronaut right that is not actually in the space it looks like he's floating somewhere else uh okay oh wow just look at this look at what we created over here guys if you click on on one of these images right you're gonna essentially have this amazing amazing creation so guys what we can do this first of all you can click share right you can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download this is simply uh, unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images so if we close down we can look at wow well, look at this image guys this is simply unbelievable just think about how you can utilize this in your own you know world just you see we have a two uh stages of liberty right you have multiple crossing bridges it's absolutely stunning and this has just been generated and created from uh like i said just one simple prompt look at this so guys this is how simple it is if you want to change something right you can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt for example uh you know if you if you want to come over here you can simply create and you can add more to the items the more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process right this is kind of an upgrade so uh, essentially you can utilize many many functions but this is 
simply mind-blowing guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use a copilot ai from microsoft in this particular example guys we're going to use uh very very balanced over here on the settings creative mode that will help us to start a business in the first example that we're going to go over here guys we're going to ask what products are good to start an e-commerce business in 2024 based on google trends let's see in the previous video guys we used bart ai to start a dropshipping store uh, we we got amazing results we got google trends all the top search products around christmas we got amazing you definitely want to go out on the channel and find this video as well let's see how the copilot will perform in comparison with so what are we having over here? Let's see. That's a great question. E-commerce, the, the, the dynamic competitive, blah, blah, blah. Sustainable products, consumers are becoming more. That's not what I'm looking for. Give me exact products. You see that's that's not good how about stop we need to stop replying okay sustainable products personalized products smart products that's not what i'm looking how about based on search volume what are the most searched products recently on Bing search. It didn't answer us for Google search. I think we all know why, but they cannot skip the, the, the question for Bing search. Let's see. Based on the web search results, same, same thing. Oh my gosh, this is very bad, guys. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like I cannot recommend you because they simply cannot help us. Can you even give us a practical information aside from generic sustainable products examples let's see keep giving us this same 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 tech i'm sorry for not satisfying my previous answer i was trying to give you uh, some trending categories of products that da, 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 da. if you want to check where do you sending me so if you want more practical information you can check out some of the resources that i found from my tool for example so guys if you pay very close attention if you watch other videos we we did uh, case studies bing is very strong of giving you sources it's giving you links to the website it's not strong of building its own conclusions which i don't know if if we click on this for example they give us a practical e-commerce which provides news tips, guidance, and examples of online e-commerce. If you click on this one, why why would I click on this one? Charts of 2024, outlook of global CEOs, January 24. Oh, it looks like some blog post or something. Also, they gave us uh, how to start a business from scratch, guide from Shopify. Another useful resource, guide to comma, crazy egg. So guys, I cannot recommend you using a copilot for starting a business or any, uh, you know, real life advice or real life navigation or tutorial how to do something. Obviously, uh, so far, I can tell you that Bart AI is the winner. 
uh, it beat chat gpt chat gpt has outdated information and very confusing generic uh, you know propositions and and answers so if you really want to uh, look to find we created a, a shopify business using bart ai go out and find the video for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to utilize microsoft copilot ai uh, assistant this is something very very new and a lot of people are not aware of there are small settings that you should be aware of prior you start using it as you can see over here the conversation style is divided by three different sections which gives you uh, different type of, of questions which could be more creative which means you're not gonna get the exact answer or you can work with more precise so the way how you can actually uh, communicate with it is by simply clicking the way that works the best for you now example over here we can shift to more precise and we're going to ask a question that requires very very precise answer uh, for example, we are going to ask how much the US dollar depreciated, depreciated, depreciated since the Great Depression. It's a very good, very precise uh, question. There is no wiggle room over here because we know exactly when 1929 we have the great depression and uh, we are having over here the exact numbers as you can see over here the value of the us dollar has fluctuated since the great depression influenced by various factors during the great depression prices slumped which is reflected in the value of the dollar However, it's important to know that from 2011 to 2019, the US dollar appreciated by 23% against the broad basket of other currencies. This appreciation was due to the fact that this is not what we're asking, right, guys? However, the value of the dollar can also be influenced by domestic economic conditions. For, for instance, the car dramatically. So the value of the US GDP decreased dramatically in the first quarter, Great Depression dropping to... Give me the difference in one dollar valuation between nineteen twenty nine and two thousand twenty three. How much does one dollar depreciated that's the accurate question over here guys okay value of one dollar in 1929 value of one dollar in 2023 according to the inflation calculator one dollar in 1929 is equivalent in purchasing power to about 17 dollars 94 cents 2024 this seems that the, <laughs> this means that the value of one dollar has depreciated by approximately 16 dollars 94 cents over 95 years ago please note that this is approximation and actual value can vary based on various factors such as the changes so i don't think this is accurate my dear friends so again one dollar in 1929 is or was equivalent in purchasing power so in one dollar in 1929 you could have buy stuff that worth 17 almost 18 dollars okay this means that the value of one dollar is depreciated approximately 16 dollars so you understand that depreciation if these numbers are uh, are you know accurate depreciation is a real thing and it's 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 taken away a lot of purchasing power from the people who are actually participating in the u.s economy but this is very important again guys to give you a heads up every time when you're looking for a very straight up information 
and precise metrics you want to use the precise mode over here on top remember what we did over here right you want to come over here and set precise mode for the ai uh, co companion okay for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video we're going to go through the copilot ai assistant from bing uh, ai copilot is simply helping you to analyze and distinguish a very complicated material studying material that can simply analyze information for you and give you analysis uh, let's dive into the actual functions and let's see what is the main point of using the copilot versus using the uh, bing chat ai or using bing ai or using chat gpt so in our example over here we are going to ask what were the top performing stocks in 2024 2023 excuse me now we're sending uh, you know the algorithm going back through the whole Bing search try to identify the top performing US stocks okay just look at this the top performing stocks in 2023 among the companies that trade in the major US exchanges with capitalization of at least $1 billion were Gene Medical International, 3,000%. Soleno Therapeutics, okay. Carvana, 1,000%. Carvana, my dear friends. Okay, Bridge Pio. Oh, well, that's amazing, guys. So you see how you can get any financial information and they also give you a couple of links underneath. How about best performed crypto in 2023? Let's see, can we get some information about the cryptocurrencies as well? It's very, very interesting. And then guys, we're going to ask for particular suggestions or predictions. The best performing cryptocurrencies of 2023 with a market cap of at least 300 million were Conflux 700% guys, Injective 600%, Singularity Net 400%, Render Token, Solana 161, Bitcoin 152, Ripple 127, Compound 126, Autos, Lido, unbelievable. So guys, here is how you can actually extract financial information very quick with just like a couple of clicks without the need to spend an hours, you know, going through different analysis or trying to find uh, something that is uh, spread within like different blocks, different charts. With two, three clicks, you get where you're going. Can you, can you tell us what are the market expectations for these stocks and cryptos in 2024 right now we want to get what wall state is saying what analysts are saying world advisors are saying you know these people are going on cnbc to the talking and all this has been left as a as a uh, interview information on the net so let's see can bing actually go out and find this and you know interface searching for okay market expectations doing good actually i would say that now the copilot is doing very very well much better than you know asking for a business plan or something of sort of okay now when we ask a very detailed information and using the precise setting on the filter uh, this is how you go you get things done guys now the copilot is extracting the information about what uh, is the market set as a ratings buy sell and they also give us the expectations for the price target so they're expecting you know the highs and the lows uh, they're expecting you know the stock to outperform beat previous year or you know simply reach its peak and, and converge so this is something very interesting this is how you extract majority of the information guys I would say this is probably one of the best prompts, the best way to utilize the copilot so far I've seen. And, you know, 
you need to know exactly which AI tool is doing the best job in what, so you can differentiate your choices when you have a multitasking. For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you should use the Copilot AI Assistant from Bing AI. Okay, very important, Copilot is working differently than the BART AI or ChatGPT. They're working differently because they're good for different things. So the first thing I want to highlight, you want to come over here on bing.com, you want to log in, create your account and click on the small icon on the Copilot next to the search bar now when you actually launch the copilot i want you to focus on the three settings above choose the conversation style i always use precise simply because i'm using it for business or finance uh, analyzing data big data you know trying to make predictions so in this particular example we're going to click on the lower right corner do you see the small keyboard icon you click on it then you click ask me anything and in this particular example guys we are going to ask about best retirement plans can you give us a list of best retirement plans in 2024 with great returns great returns and low cost expense ratio okay guys so we're going to go and send the algorithm back to bing search and he's going to extract all the people's reviews so somebody used this retirement fund this world manager this world advisor and it's gonna garner all the information who is happy from a service who isn't who got what they're looking for and who did not okay look at this here, here, has, here <clears throat> here's the list of the best retirement income funds in 2024 with great returns, low cost expense ratios, according to Forbes. Okay, so you see what it did? It went out there, you find the most reliable or one of the most reliable sources and it spits the information from it. So we have a Schwab balance funds returning 6.8%, expense ratio is 0.4, which is kind of high, guys. You see Vanguard Wellington Fund, it's only 0.2, returning 7.9%. You see, now we're talking lower expense ratio, higher returns, another financial advice. Dodge and Cox Income Fund, 2.8%, 0.4. You see, the top four, they have like expense ratio varies between 0.2 to 0.5. We're going to the lower uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're much more expensive t row price dividend growth fund okay so it's expense ratio 0.6 returns 11 percent but as you can see over here they are focusing on the dividend growth fund and i'm kind of a little little more interesting what is this so if we hold our finger and we copy this one and paste it again and tell me more about this and here we're going to paste it so because you know there is a dividend in the name so i presume there's a portfolio of uh, dividend securities but remember dividends are also taxed so no matter even if you reinvest dividends you still have to pay taxes on them right and remember dividends could be cut from the company at any time there is no rule for them not cutting or preventing them from cutting the dividends so this is something that i want you to be aware guys so let's see so the TRO price dividend growth fund is a mutual fund that primarily invests in the dividends capable increases blah 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 okay so the fund assets totaling among 21 billion dollars okay what they have the fund has returned 3.8 percent over the past three years that's kind of low 3.8 percent over the last three years three years were 2023 2022 2020 one 2021 was the strongest year for everything i don't know where they were the fund has returned okay over the past five years the fund the past and the past decade the fund has returned 10 percent that's still kind of low guys i don't know maybe i have uh, different expectations but essentially this is how you can find 
the best information or at least very very uh, valuable information with just a couple of clicks if you just know what kind of prompts and what you ask for guys if you appreciate this video like this video subscribe to the channel guys and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use copilot from bing ai if you come over here create your account and log in into bing.com you have this small icon next to the search bar the colorful one you want to click on it right you have a new chat uh, window over here with three different types of conversions so we have more creative answers given from the actual copilot you have more balanced and you have more precise i always work with more precise simply because we're working with numbers with estimates with predictions everything related to investing you know business related stuff business related stuff you know so in this particular example i want to show you all you gotta do is to click on the lower right corner where you see the small keyboard the next step over here guys is to click on the lower right corner where you see the small keyboard sign in this particular example guys we are going to ask please write an internship internship or job cover letter for uh, chop at the bank or any other major financial institution so the way how bing ai and copilot works is essentially they generate all the information that is input in the actual search on bing this is not google search this is bing search so everything that anyone has ever put it as a course as a program as advice uh you know feedback suggestions they generate all that they garner all like the most highly rated uh you know templates for job offers for internship for cover letters and they're gonna give you a summary of it so if you look at over here what we generate it's absolutely amazing even the font looks like it's so legitimate like you can click on the upper right corner and you can simply copy you see we just copy the exact template so we have a very nice structure i would say this is a formal structure uh you have your name, your address, your city, state, zip code, your email address, today's date. Uh, and then you have your actual future potential employee, right? The recipient's name, uh, bank's name, bank's address, city. Okay, I'm writing to express my interest in the job, whatever job you're applying for. It could be an internship, could be apprenticeship, right? Position in the name of the company that was advertised on, let's say, Yahoo Finance. As a finance student, okay, or finance professional, as we mentioned, you might have some experience. You're looking to, you know, find the work and you have a strong interest in their industry and in their company. I'm excited to, you know, have this opportunity and to contribute to your team. In my coursework, uh, you know, I'm da -da 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 -da, profound understanding. You see, guys, it definitely needs some tweaks here and there, but you understand where I'm, where I'm going, right? This is the best way you can extract value. I've been using Copilot and Bing AI chat for other purposes such as, you know, planning your trip or GPS, location, navigation. It, it doesn't work so well. Or like give me like uh, top products to sell on Shopify or for uh, e-commerce. It doesn't give suggestions, but when you ask for a core, very straightforward, like an old school business, like methodology, paperwork, analysis, like big data it works so well it works like so so good so this one templates for like business for letters for documents it works so well for more videos like this guys subscribe and come back for more in today's video i'm going to show you how to use copilot from microsoft bing ai this is a very important assistant that is performing the best i find it so far based on my case studies in the business analytical numbers game uh, if you want to write a particular document or fill up a particular document or create a template of a, of a invitation cover letter a job of a resume uh, that type of documents it 
does do a very good job. Uh, there are particular flaws. You want to make sure you watch my other case studies and videos on the actual AI uh, system. But in this example over here, I am going to show you how you can craft a sales offer and how you can actually promote this sales offer using a marketing strategy. The first thing you want to do, you want to log into your Bing account. You want to come over here on the actual copilot and then i want you to set the conversation style at precise you see the three options creative balanced and precise we always work with precise when we do business propositions or anything related to sales then i want you to go ahead and click on the lower right corner at the small keyboard icon here we're going to create our prompt and we're going to ask very detailed questions in this example I am selling a car insurance. Please give me a very targeted sales pitch with highly engaging uh, strategies to close at least 9 out of 10 customers so guys we, we gave the general idea we present who we are and we set our goals to set at least nine out of ten rate of success so now let's see what the actual copilot can do for us and you can replace this with with whatever job you have whatever goals you have it, it's supposed to work i cannot guarantee you but every single strategy is the same so obviously they're trying to reach out in in the cold calling manner over here this is the sales pitch Hello, I hope you're having a great day. I'm here to talk about something that we all need, but hope we never have to use car insurance. It's not just about compliance with the law, it's about peace of mind. Okay, highlighting the benefits. Our car insurance policy is designed with your needs in mind. It offers comprehensive coverage that protects you, your vehicle and others on the road. We cover everything from collusion, damage, theft to personal injury personalizing the pitch you see guys it works very very well if you really know how to ask how to create the prompts it's all about the prompts i can probably create a 1000 videos here only with different prompts in different businesses so you guys can actually see how it works to be very clear i tried to use copilot and ai uh, bing chat for e-commerce for shopify for dropshipping it didn't work so they cannot give you like a business advice, but they can follow the line of, of like law and they can follow the line of formal uh, documentation, invitation, like this particular uh, type of stuff like motivation or, you know, sales pitch. It's very, very good stuff. You see, imagine driving on the rainy day and suddenly a tree falls and damages your car. You see, they even try to create empathy, try to give you an, a brief uh, overview, an example, what you could expect by getting this idea. <laughs> I'm not into insurance at all, guys. I'm not hyped about it. I just, just came to my mind because I know that this is very hard product to sell. Any type of insurance is hard product to sell because people are paying for something that they hope not never going to use, right? Anyway, I think we got plenty of replies and we, we got the point proven that this is how you can utilize uh, the copilot from Microsoft AI to create not only business plan, business strategy, but you could also create a sales pitch. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video.